look at this. What I do want to talk about, if you watch video online, you're probably familiar with Flash video, especially if you get your YouTube or your Hulu on. In wake of the iPad announcement, I know you don't care, but there's been a lot of Flash, die, 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 with knives being cast at the virtual internet screens. Basically, people hate Flash, or at least a lot of people do, whether you're talking about using it in websites or on video. This brings us to a couple things you probably want to check out. First up, YouTube's HTML5 demo. That's the things people are talking about as being the Flash replacement for Flash video. Think YouTube using H.264 video instead of Flash. It works on browsers that support the video tag in HTML5 and the H.264 codec, which means Google Chrome, Apple Safari, and Internet Explorer. Well, Internet Explorer if the Google Chrome frame is installed. Yes, it'll do full screen if the browser supports it. No, it doesn't work on Firefox currently, and it is a beta, which means it's a work in progress, so don't be shocked if it falls down and goes boom. But this this could be, essentially, this could be the future of video playback on YouTube and some of the other things out there because... I'm all about that. Yeah. I'd like to see them incorporate support for some of the open standards as well mm -hmm. for video encoding like uh, Theora and all of those other literally free formats that you can use to encode your video and distribute it commercially or personally without right. any kind of fees involved. Well, that's the, the kind of the, the Damocles sword hanging over H.264 video, MPEG-4, MPEG-2 video, is that if you are a major producer, you are charged for the rights to use that compression for the distribution of your video. Exactly. <laughs>